look at this little lamp. In here, we put oil. Through here is our wick, which we light. This little vessel is a representation of many old-fashioned types of lamps. A little handle, a little light, and as long as you have oil in inside that lamp, you will have light. What am I talking about today? I'm talking about our fuel. What is the oil or the fuel that you add to your light? How do you do that? Every day within you, you have light, right? In order for that light to shine out, you must fuel it. How? There's three main ways. First way, physically. To physically fuel your light means you actually need to move physically. You need to walk, yoga, stretch, run, bike, I don't care what it is, but the body needs to move in a way because that actively starts to fire up your mind. It gives you endorphins. It gives you strength. It gives you so many things. Remember, you have a spirit inside your body. Your body and your spirit are connected as one. This connection, they need to cooperate together in order for both to be their best selves. This is that oil. So we need to physically move. You can decide however you want. Some of you might run races that are 100 miles. Hello, sister, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Some of us might barely be able to walk around our block. The point is, physically, we need to move. This fuels our, this gives the oil that fuels our light. The second thing, is we need to mentally prepare our oil. How do we do that? We feed our mind with awesome, incredible, I want to say, intelligence. So good books, scriptures, good talks, audiobooks, whatever it is that you can get that's good in your mind, and keep it there, even through some music, that fuels your mental abilities to stay clear. Seeing as you combine that with physical, it's even more clear. They are interconnected. So the first, physical, the second, mental. Good books, good readings, good listening to, good music, that is what fuels it. The third is spiritual. Now this spiritual growth and fuel is very individual. For me, it's definitely with my scriptures, through prayer, through attending my church meetings, through going and connecting with others. This oil lights my lamp and keeps the oil sustaining the light. You can decide how you want to do that in your spiritualness. So again, three things, physical, mental, and spiritual. How do you fuel your light? If you need any support or help with this, I have a free three-day challenge that will help you to understand your light, discover how to shine it brightly, how to fuel it, and then how to amplify it. We'll see you soon.